Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are, everybody. I'm here to talk to you guys about My Hero Academia, which is on chapter 341. Now, before you go on doing stupid stuff, which will happen to my other two videos, which apparently they're going to find the counter not notification, if anything else, this video is just, uh, it's just a talk about the chapter, okay? Nothing more, nothing less, nothing of the sort that I'm having any freaking images on my video. I, don't, I, I can't do that. I don't even know how to do that. It's just me talking and moving. If you don't like it, get the hell out. No offense. I'm already ticked off about what happened in my last two videos, etc. Okay? So, if anything else, let's just get this started. You know, we have to, Himiko Toga ends up having to, like, um, go back to her home, you know? Her former home before she left it and left left and abandoned it because, you know, her parents were being total jerks whatsoever. She ends up having these memories where people call her a freak. Get out of here. We ain't gonna accept that creepy side of yours, you know? And we have to, Himiko Toga goes to the room that she used to live in, but all her stuff is thrown out. And she even accepted that fact about uh, what her parents did, you know? And we have to, that Dobby was waiting for her and says, Hey, I guess a psycho like you actually had some feelings after all, huh? So... What's up? And Toga's like, I just want to take a look at my house, okay? Nothing more. See what the hell happened to it. And Toya or Dobby, knowing that um, his true so true name and true name is revealed already, he asked Himiko, "Do you have what it takes to do whatever to destroy this damn world?" You know, we have to it that Toga's like, I can't go back now after the damages is already been done. And Dobby's like, okay, that's good. You see here, this world doesn't really care about us at all. And you know, the one who, who la who, who's last standing gets the last laugh. And you know what? We are that kind of people who will get the last laugh. And we have to it. Dobby has a gift to, to, to Toga-chan or Himiko-chan, you know? Saying this to her by saying, Hey, before Giganto Magia tore down the place himself, I got a little gift for you to give you. And it's twice his blood, which is really troubling because we all know what Himi Himiko is capable of, okay? She is capable of not only transforming into the person, whoever they, whoever she wishes when they, when she drinks that person's blood, but she also has the ability to, like, um, use that person's cork as well. And we all know how deadly twice his cork is. That guy's cork, if a big reminder to you, is a freaking infinite, infinite infinite army man i mean we all know how deadly that is here and there etc and we have to it that like um toya tells himiko like let's carry on the will of the of twice's will the ones like i said who is in the last who's last standing gets the last laugh and that will be us and we had to we go to a scene with um with spinner with all for one and what's the guy's name skeptic whatever his name is that computer guy from the per from the from Redestro's army we have to it that like um she i mean spinner is worried worried about shigaraki you know and decides to take a look at him you know and we have to it that um all for one tells Sh Sh spinner like it's gonna be okay he's gonna he's overcoming the cork singularity now if you guys forgotten about the cork singularity that thing has been pertaining to like an event that Garaki, the one that the doctor that works for All for One or something, <clears throat> talks about like how quarks evolve and it's gonna like cause a lot of damage in the future, you know, when it comes to people who can't keep up, you know, that kind of thing. Just a reminder, well, just a little vague understanding of it, you know, and we have to it that like, um, <clears throat> that Spinner is concerned about Shigaraki here and there, but we have to it like All for One. Tells him it's okay. He will be fine. There's no need to worry. You know that kind of thing. And we have to it that um, skeptic or that guy, whatever. I don't know what his name is. I forgot. I don't care because his name is not really being showcased a lot here and there. But all I know is he's the one that is that used to be Reed Destro's like um information broker whatsoever. You know. But whatever the case may be, the guy end up telling Spinner, "You do understand when it comes to like mutants, right?" You see here, despite the government and heroes trying to help mutants out, they've been trenched in darkness for a long time. And many of your kind, that's like that's like you, for example, hated heroes for that because they couldn't do a damn thing about it. We are are we are the ones that are left to give them the beacon of hope that you 
that, that has left. But you, a mere intimidation, is that beacon whatsoever. Spinner's like, I don't think you get the idea. You see here, you see here, I never had any high goals or ideals to begin with. And he, and, and he, de but the other guy says otherwise, saying, you already rolled the dice already, you know? Right now, there's a lot of prisoners out there who apparently, right now, awaits your help and arrival. Right now, you're the one who's going to pull the trigger and read Destro's stint, you know? And we have to, all for one, convinces Spinner to take this, take this mantle and continue it. Saying, you're about to take a step that will bring a light in, in everyone's hope, you know? We have to it, Spinner, knowing that he can't go back either because he already done a lot of damage here and there. And we have to it that, like I said, if it's for Shigaraki's will, then I would do it. I'll do whatever I. I'll do what I must. And then he picks up the, the phone or the communication device that skeptic or whatever that guy's name is to that he handed over to him. You know, and we have to it that like um. That someone tells like Spinner like um anyone could become a hero, you know? Someone's hero no matter what. And the chapter ends off with like um seeing that sludge monster, which I believe we saw in the very beginning of My Hero Academia, and three more villains that might look familiar. But there's one that it looks like he could use a sword whatsoever, which may look a little dangerous considering that he may be good at hand to close melee combat here and there, you know? And the chapter ends up there. Now, next week, we'll, we'll, My Hero Academia will be on break, you know, so if anything else, that's about it. Anyways, anyways, um, overall in this chapter, it looks like to me, we're going to get a villain's perspective of, like, um, how we become heroes minus, you know, of how, where they are, where, where they are at, and after the paranormal liberation war here and there, you know? So, Toga, like I said, goes to her house, and she decides to have nostalgia of what happened back then, <coughs> or what she was back then, you know, how people messed with her, call her a vampire demon, they graffitied her war, and then how her parents were trying to help her, but they gave up on her, and then, you know, we have to, like I said, Dabi, Otoya, whichever name that seems fitting for you, talk, talks to Himiko not to give up, and that we will get the last lab, and he gives her, he gives her a gift known as twice his blood before, like, um, that place gets destroyed. And like I said, and telling you and reminding you again, that twice his blood, we all know how dangerous that guy's cork is. He's like a freaking army that's, that's a freaking infinite, it's like an infinite army that you can't fight against, you know? Like, unlimited numbers, <laughs> etc. So, this is gonna be one hell of a, hell of a showdown right now, because depending on the situation, this could last maybe another, like, year or more. But if you guys remember correctly and reminding you, the manga author says that we only have like um, one If things go smoothly, My Hero Academia will end about one year, which could be possibly all the way to next year in January 2023. Which um, I really hope that doesn't become the case because there's a lot to do and a lot to be said and done. But we'll have to see and find out, you know, because... Depending on the her depending if the author doesn't take any breaks or if he's going on a smooth path or just writing things the way he wants to in that certain order, then I guess it could it could it could be done. But like I said, it's a lot to be lot to lot to look into it. And as for Spinner, he is asked to take on the mantle that will give a lot of mutants who have quirks like him hope. You know, mutant quirks. You know, Spinner, we all know that he was like, um, he was that kind of like, um, guy that ha had nothing, had nothing else going on except discrimination and all that, you know, that kind of thing. Anyways, um, yeah, just like, um, a uh, villain's perspective now, but we're gonna be on break next week, so like I said, Himiko, Ch Himiko Chan visits her home, takes a look at it for a bit, and then leaves with, with, Toya or Dabi, and Dabi gives her a gift of twice his blood, saying that use that as as a way to like um carry on the man's the man's um will, you know that kind of thing. Since twice was important to Himiko, we all know that. And you know, Spinner is asked by Skeptic, or I think that's his name. I don't know why I'm calling him Skeptic. I think that's his real name, but. He was asked by Skeptic to like, I want you to carry on this mantle right now. You're our only hope in order to like make things right. And then even All for One agrees and 
ask Spinner that everyone could be someone else's hero when the time presents itself, you know, that kind of thing. Anyways, um, that's about it, people. Looking forward to the next chapter, which I believe we won't be having it ne next week here and there. And so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot! Ta-da!